Well, this looks quite confusing, but the IB has specific examples it wants you to know. So cis and trans dichloroethene, for the cis molecule, the electrons are pulled up towards the chlorine there, leaving a dipole, a little bit negative, a little bit positive. So the cis molecule has a dipole. And so when you put a bunch of those molecules together, they'll line up and there'll be a dipole-dipole attraction, which I've outlined in purple. So these molecules will stick together because of the dipole-dipole attraction. The trans, well, those two chlorine dipoles cancel out. So the trans has no dipole. So that just leaves us with van der Waals bonding. Now, van der Waals bonding is the weakest of the bonding. So the trans isn't really going to stick very well to each other. They're not going to bond very tightly just with van der Waal. Now, the other one also has van der Waal, but the dipole-dipole, that's much stronger. So that's why we only included that in the cis. So the cis is sticky, if you will, stickier than the trans. Yes, it's got a higher boiling point. It's harder to boil the cis. It has more bonds. The other molecule the IB specifically mentions is this one here. Now, different books give this different names. But we'll call this cis-butene dioic acid. Maybe butene dioic acid, but let's go with butene because it's, I think it's unambiguous. So butene means four carbons in the longest chain. Cis means the functional groups on the same side. And dioic acid, well, there's one carboxylic acid and there's the second carboxylic acid. Cis-butene dioic acid. Butene dioic, if you insist. Well, let's look at the trans molecule. So that's going to have trans means across, transport, transvestite, across genders, uh, uh, sorry, across ports, across clothing types, if you will. And so the carboxylic acid group is on opposite sides. Transbutene dioic acid. So let's think about what's going to happen. The melting point's 139. And there, the melting point. Ah, so the cis one doesn't have so many bonds between one butanoic acid and the next one. The cis one has weaker bonds. Well, that's because the bonds in the cis, the hydrogen bonds there, are internal. They're intramolecular hydrogen bonds. So they're not available for, to external bonding with other molecules. The trans, well, that has external or intermolecular hydrogen bonds. So they can bond to other trans-butene dioic acids and increase the melting point because there's more bonds there. And the other one, they rarely ask this, but when they do, very few people get it right. That's the same two molecules again. This is the cis-butene dioic acid. Same as before. And then we'll look at the trans one later. If you heat them both to 160, the water molecule that I've uh, squared in a little box there is removed. And that leaves this. What on earth is that? The name they've never asked in my memory, but that's uh, butene dioic anhydride. So I wouldn't worry about the name of that. But that's undergoing a chemical reaction when you heat it. Now the trans one, when you heat it, doesn't undergo a chemical reaction. So the trans-butene dioic acid just turns from a solid to a gas when you heat it. Oh, well that's a little strange. Normally solids turns to liquid turns to gas. And so if it goes from solid straight to gas, that's known as sublimation.